Hi, welcome to Sins and Things, and today we're going to talk about the AE modeler ins and outs. This is going to be a small tutorial series where I'm going to highlight several modules about how they work and how they sound mostly. Today we're going to work with the two oscillator module. Um, yeah, so let me show you how it sounds. This is going to be the square wave. Hook it up. All right, so let's start from top to bottom. And back again. Perfect. So let's go to the sawtooth. And let's go to the pulse, which actually doesn't really give sound because it's more. Um, used for modulating the pulse width modulation, as I'm going to show you right now. So let's put it back to the square. And let's put the pulse output into the pulse width modulation. And you can use the pulse width knob to control this modulation. So there it goes. With the CV input, we can control the pitch of the module. So I'm going to hook it up to the bus CV so I can control it with my MIDI sequencer. And now it's the frequency knobs are more like an overall pitch knob. So yeah, that's basically it. We can hook up the pulse with modulation inputs, of course, with a, a modulator like an LFO. We get this. Put on the rate a little bit higher. So you get that nice hoover sound. And we can use the sync input to get um, the famous Daft Punk sound, actually. So let me get rid of this real quick. Let's put the LFO into the CV1. And put the sawtooth output of the second oscillator into the sync in. Alright, and it should work like this. Let's see. There you go. So yeah, that's basically it. These are the ins and outs of the two oscillator module. As you may have noticed, I didn't use the bus control input as I don't really have anything now to show off the bus control input. But it basically gives you the opportunity to modulate it externally with the control inputs right over there. Thanks for watching and hopefully it was helpful for you to get all the fun out of your AE modeler.